Dr. Robert R. Roberts, March 21st, 7.20 a.m. Patient 4725 is a Caucasian male, John Doe. Bagged and tagged and ready for the cast of L.A. Doctors. <laughs> it's a little medical humor for and from yours truly. Whoa! It was hot in there. Whoa! Patient 4725 has emerged from the body bag and is walking out the door. Nurse, uh, get that guy a wheelchair. It's hospital policy. Oh, careful. Mm, yeah, he likes to bite people. Yeah, you just put some ice on that and hold my calls, okay? Damn, this stuff never used to happen at regional. Next! Uh, excuse me, Dr. Uh... Roberts. Roberts? Hey, do you know about, about the... the song? Yes, I do. Dr. Roberts. He's a man, yada yada. Let's keep the Beatles references down to a minimum, please. Have a seat. Now, Doctor, before you check me, I think you should know why I came in to see you. Because of the so-called dance fever, right? That's right. That's wrong! Well, what do you mean, Doc? I mean, the bulkier clientele are dancing to the Muzak version of the Pina Colada song out there. Ma'am, I've been in the medical profession now about five, six days. All right, that's almost a week. So I think I know a little bit more than you do about medicine, okay? Let's open wine, all right? Ah. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can close it. Okay. March 21st, 724 AM, patient 4726 is a Caucasian female name. Jamie D uh, Smith. Jamie Smithy, who seems to be suffering from mild case of antiquated stress, nothing more. What? Well, I'm not really reading anything out of the ordinary here, Miss Smithy. What I'm gonna do. I'm going to prescribe you some aspirin with water. You take two of those and you call me in the morning, okay? Now that's it? Well, you can save yourself the call if you go out with me tonight. Fresh. Patient 4726 has slapped the doctor and is proceeding out on her own. The doctor finds this act of violence a major turn on and will commence the stalking process once his shift is over. Next! Excuse me, I, I forgot. Nice my... try, patient 4725. I've already had your turn. What? No, I just forgot nice. my wallet. <laughs> my what? wallet? It's right there. The wallet. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. There you go. Oh, all right. Well, you have a good day. Oh, no, all right, here you go. Okay. Oh, you forgot your wallet. Next! And to think, we thought the cemetery was stricken with a disease called dance fever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when in actuality we were dancing like depraved monkeys by choice. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Say, Raul, where's Connie? Well, I saw a trail of Q-tips leading that way. Hey, that leads to Dr. Pankow's office. Do you think he might have an appointment? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think Connie might reveal to him on how he died? But we know how he died, don't we? He got impaled by a lawn dart. Well, I heard he died a fiery death driving an 88 Buick off Mount Rushmore. <laughs> hmm. As wiry as he is, I don't think he could fit in a microwave. Well, let's listen in and find out then. What's that, Dr. Pankow? How did I die? Well, fine. In the light of the whole dance fever scare that bears a slight resemblance to the subject, I'll tell ya. It was the summer of 77, the last real summer of disco, and the last real summer of Conroe Ziggy.
Conway Pack of Donuts here. How you Conway, doing? Conway, no. You know my name is Conroe, as in Roe. <laughs> you know, sure, forget sure. about oh, it. Right. Hey, you guys, I forgot to tell you, I've got a present for Sonny Pie. Oh, yeah. You got a present for Sonny yeah. Pie. What do you got? You know what, what you got? I got? I got tickets. Not one, wow, but two tickets to that new movie. You know what that movie is? Star something. I forget. Oh, yeah, forget it's about it. Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star you know, the, with the brown thing, you know? I forget his name. Chewing tobacco? I forget. Chewing well, it's very generous of you, Conway. Hey, yeah, anything listen, for Sonny. Listen, Conway. It's Conroe. Con oh, I'm sorry. We come to tell you something. You've disgraced the family a lot too many times, okay? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the thing is, we've been sitting here to, um, to kill you, so... <laughs> kill me? Well, you're funny, man. I'm, you're whoa, really whoa, funny. Whoa, whoa. Funny. I don't know, man. You're just funny. I swear to God, I thought you just said, please kick my ass. What? I, no, you're, just, you're, you're just funny. What well, am I talking I, about? I, I, I heard the words. I just don't understand what you mean by them. They, they're not well, funny to you. What, I mean, is this, I, am I Robin Williams? Is that what you're saying I am? No, I'm some sort of comedian? Funny, man. Ow, ow, why'd you do that? Hey, oh, my voice is different. What the hell? Hey, what's that over there? What? Oh! Oh. You know, I got this thing through the mail. I don't think it works. Nah. <laughs> Get your money back, you know what I mean? Not for nothing, but I'm glad that's done. Yikes. Jesus, it's getting hot in this place. I'll tell you what. Pick up those tickets. Yeah. I'll get the body. We'll dump in these dribble. We'll be home for, uh, you know, cannoli by noon. Okay. I'll tell you yeah. what, uh, Hold that. It's a four o'clock show and I'll get the popcorn. What do you say? All right, you ain't. Hey, you can help me with this thing or what? Here, not for nothing, but Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, jeez, what do you pretty want? Heavy. It's, always, it's always something else in it. The last thing I remember, Doc, I was at the bottom of the East River. On the plus side, though, Preceding my impending watery death, I beat my own time holding my breath. <laughs> what? Guys, were you listening the whole time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, secret's out. I guess I'll have to find a way to die again. Wah, wah, wah. Thanks for forgiving me, honey. Maybe, Creech. Maybe. You know, Yami, Yami, what you had need for? What's that, Dr. Pankow? The need for speed! Where I can